Hello students and welcome to the next lesson in our AS Human Geography course. Today we're going to be looking at appropriate technology. What is appropriate technology? Appropriate technology is a technology used by a group or a country which is going to be fitting to their needs, expertise, wealth and resources. It can be used in both LICs and HICs because this is not intermediate technology. Intermediate technology is mainly basic technology which is fitted only to LICs but appropriate technology is fitted to the country's needs, expertise, wealth and resources. Therefore, it can be fitted to HICs. For example, nuclear power is used in high income countries such as the UK, in specifically in Cumbria, and the UK needs the resources and has these in order to conduct it with. And solar cookers and Lorana stoves are used in African countries such as that of Malawi, and um, these are also appropriate technology because this is the technology used which is fitting to their needs to reduce their amount of energy which they're using from fuel wood, their expertise and their ability to be able to conduct it, and as well as their wealth and resources. So what is the appropriate technology used for? It's used to solve technological and social problems as well as environmental issues. It mainly wants to solve the high costs of a particular task, help to protect the environment, supplies employment for those to work with, and can also improve health, as well as generating income for families. However, in order to set up appropriate technology, you need to buy it and export the good to your country. This is expensive and also you need to train someone in order to be able to set it up. But this training can be beneficial, because it hands down local skills. Technology is more likely to work if people are going to use their local skills on it. Applying these skills can help the technology going and keeps it sustainable. The skills are passed down from generation to generation along with a knowledge on how to use this appropriate technology and therefore can be sustainable as it's not compromising the needs of future generations. For example, that of the AfriDev hand pump. In sub-Saharan Africa, they use the AfriDev hand pump in order to get water from down below up so they can use it in everyday life. Now they are teaching people to use the AfriDev hand pump and how to build it and install it and pretty much manage it in order for it always to work. This knowledge is then passed down, all these local skills are passed down from generation to generation to keep it sustainable. Appropriate technology case studies. Here we have some large scale and small scale case studies of use of appropriate technology. For example, in Reading in the UK, they use a lot of wind farms in order to generate electricity. We have the code for sustainable homes in the UK nuclear power used in the UK, and the Santander cycles used in the UK to reduce the amount of energy used. Local scale appropriate technology case studies include that of the Lorena stoves in African countries, the AfriDev hand pump in sub-Saharan Africa, the use of solar cookers in order to use less fuel wood, and California's so, uh, solar power. They have a huge area of 500,000 homes which are all using the energy just because they have a massive area of solar panels which are concentrating the sun's energy. Here are some questions on such things uh, involved with appropriate technology such as the large and small scale examples and you also should define appropriate technology. Do this on another sheet of paper by pausing the video and then play it again so you can see the answers. Here are the answers. If you got these right, congratulations. I'd advise you to move on to the next video, which will be on designing workplaces for sustainability. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you.